Hola everyone, this is Miguel Perez Colina and the Product Manager for my Christian Toolkit for Applications. And I'm going to show you how to deploy it on OpenShift using a template. So this is OpenShift 4.6, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to deploy here MTA. First thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create a project for MTA and I'm going to call it MTA. So now I have a project and as you see, I have it selected, MTA. And then I need to obtain MTA itself. So I go to web.php slash MTA and it takes me to the website for migration token for applications within the Hat developers. And then I go to download and I go to the all downloads and I need to obtain the web console. The web console in this case for version 5.0 and we click on download and it will download a file. So I go to my downloads and I have the file that I've just downloaded right here. I unzip it and I obtain this folder. So this is the folder that contains uh, this zip file. I navigate into it and I go into OpenShift templates and I have the templates here to be added to OpenShift. So I go back to OpenShift, I click on create resources from the general definition here, and now all I need to do is drag and drop the file to create the resources to import the template into OpenShift. I click on create, and now the template is imported. So the next step is that I go to add again, and then I say, okay, I want to create it from catalog. In the catalog, I can click on, and I can type MTA, and it will appear here, you see, the template. And then I click on instantiate the template. And I'll see a lot of options to instantiate the template. First is the namespace, the application name, CPU, memory, the executed CPU, the memory, the storage, the capacity, database. So you could turn this up. Normally, if you leave it as it is, it's OK. So I click on Create. And this will start instantiating MTA on my OpenShift. Once these uh, containers gets, get instantiated, I could click here and open URL to access the console. OK? Default user is MTA, default password is password, so you can log in easily. Later on, you will be able to put in the documentation to change the users, to tune it up, to create your rules, etc. Thanks for listening.